Now, the big news this week is Facebook's IPO. The company is going to price shares on Thursday night and start trading on Friday. There's been a few developments this week, including an upsized offering with Facebook raising the number of shares it's going to sell by 84 million shares. Uh, the bulk of that is coming from existing shareholders, not the company. Goldman Sachs has doubled the, more than doubled the number of shares it's going to sell in the offering, among other early investors that will be selling more shares. Facebook has also changed the price of the offering. It now expects to price its IPO in a range of $34 to $38 a share, and the most recent reports suggest the price could even be higher than that. Another thing to expect, Facebook's IPO will probably rally very sharply right out of the gate on Friday morning as investors who didn't have a chance to get in at the IPO price clamor for shares. Might it double? We don't know yet, but it wouldn't come as a complete surprise. Of course, one of the questions that we won't get the answer to Thursday and we certainly won't get the answer to Friday is whether Facebook will be able to find a way to answer its one big problem, mobile. So far, the company has readily admitted in its IPO filing that it doesn't have a, yet have a grasp of how to monetize its mobile exposure. The company's users, 901 million monthly active users, according to its latest filing. Of those, 488 frequently use the service on mobile devices. If Facebook can't figure out a way to tap those mobile users for revenue, and so far they have not been able to, that's going to be a real impact on how the company will be able to grow down the line. For investors concerned about missing out on the IPO at its initial price, that's the fact they should be considering for the future. Can Facebook find a way to monetize its mobile users? If it can't, then not getting on the OP IPO price will be the least of your concerns. Now, none of this is to say that Facebook will never find a way to, f to monetize its mobile users. The company's going to have around $10 billion in cash, probably more after this IPO. And you know, having capital goes a long way to helping solve a company's problems. New investors need to realize, though, is that just because you can't get in at the IPO price, and if you miss out on that first day and the stock rallies 100% or more, don't feel like you completely missed out forever. Facebook is going to be a public company for quite a long time to come, or at least they hope they will. So there's no reason to think that you'll never be able to make money on Facebook if you don't get in before the end of this week. Take a look at a chart at Google. Take a look at a chart of Apple. Both of those stocks have offered investors numerous opportunities over the years to get in at certainly not the IPO price, but to get in at a price that allowed for a continued appreciation of the stock later. So Facebook's fair value, is it going to be a $100 billion valuation? Well, the stock will probably get there this week, but we don't know what the fair value is until investors really have a chance to see where this company is going. For those of you out there that are thinking about Facebook, but you're not getting access to the IPO and you, you're skeptical of Friday, treat it like a spectator sport. It's going to be exciting. It's going to be fun to watch, but there will be an opportunity down the road to get involved.